the theatre and music and writing to me are something I'm passionate about, something that I need to do for my mental health. It makes me feel amazing. It makes me feel happy performing. I'm in a good place when I'm on stage. I shine. I was a very troubled child and about the age of five or six, I started exhibiting signs that there was something wrong. I started pretending that I couldn't do my schoolwork. The schools told my parents I was retarded, the word that they used back then. And they threw me out of that school and told me that I'd never get past the level of grade four. And my parents knew something was wrong, but didn't know what. And what I was actually suffering from was histrionic personality disorder, which is a precursor to bipolar. But no one back then knew about that. So my parents sold up the property we had in Brookfield and took my brother and myself and my grandparents over to the USA. And we traveled around in a motor home and I blossomed and excelled at my schoolwork and I was so happy. So I went into high school and things were okay for a few years. Then I started to exhibit more signs of things going wrong. I was in the student counsellor's office every lunchtime saying to her, I hate myself, I wish I was dead, everybody hates me, I can't stand being alive. On the last day of school, my student counsellor said to my mother, Pauline, your problems with Karen have only just begun. I went to Sydney and pursued jazz and blues singing. Then I decided to go over to London and I eventually got into a West End musical, the musical Hair, which was an amazing experience. I had a manic episode. I didn't know what I was doing. I was psychotic, I was off my head. And I came home and I was admitted to the Prince of Wales Hospital in Sydney under a professor and he told my mum I had the worst case of bipolar disorder he'd ever seen. And I had some 17 to 20 years of shock treatment, over medication and very long hospital admissions where I was extremely unwell. I lost all my short term memory, but I don't now think in terms of I lost my life. Now I only think of, I've got every day to live. I'd always kept up with my passion for the arts. Even when I was in hospital, Access Arts has been amazing for me. Having a disability myself, I love working with people that experience disability. We're all the most beautiful people. Where are artists with disability on our stages? Where are they in the arts industry? It's really important to be able to increase the number of outstanding professionals like Karen who perform on our stage. So they have a visibility, they have a voice. I'm so happy and balanced and in charge of my life and doing amazing things. I've won awards with my theatre work. Heaps of people come and see the shows. And the big thing about Chameleon, it's a show about mental health. So it's me sharing my stories of mental wellness with people. And I get so many people after the show come up and say, I can really relate to that or I know someone who's been affected by mental health issues and that really spoke to me. So it means so much to me. What we see as artists, we don't see people with disability. We see artists as valuable contributors to our society. There's so many different stories about how through Access Arts, people's lives have been changed. People have been able to create and sell their work. 
So we see what they give and what their work gives, the joy it gives to our community and to our society. I often say to people, do you know what the best moment of my life is? It's right now because I'm living this moment right now. It's being here with you. Never give up hope and always have your dreams because they can come true and they will come true if you work hard enough for them.